a short rib ragu. And the first thing I'm gonna do is sear these short ribs that I have so they'll be nice and brown on the outside before we braise them. So I got some oil in my pan, and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper all over these ribs. I got about three pounds of bone-in short ribs here. And then all we're gonna do is go to work on adding flavor. Now I'm just going to start searing. And I'm gonna to wanna to sear them on all sides. You don't wanna crowd the pan. And while those start to sear, I'm gonna to get to work on vegetables. So I got an onion here, I've got a carrot, I've got a celery stick and some garlic. And I don't even need to worry about chopping the garlic, it can just go right in. I'm gonna go ahead and give those a chop before I put the other things in. I'm putting these vegetables in the food processor because really as they cook into the sauce, they're just gonna kinda disappear into the sauce and just add all this great flavor. And I'll give these a nice chop. It's pretty finely chopped, that's what I want. I'm gonna check this really quick just to see where we are. These look perfectly seared. I'll take these out. Nice and brown. Mm, perfect, and it's starting to smell really good in this kitchen. And now I'll get to work on the ragu in the pan. I'll take these vegetables and I'll just put them right in. I'm gonna add a couple of cups of wine to this. Mmm, that smells good. One 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. tablespoon of tomato paste, and just a few sprigs of rosemary. Stir that in. So I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. I'm gonna put the ribs back in, nestle them in the sauce. Oh my goodness. Talk about flavor. All these flavors will meld together, and then these ribs are gonna just fall right off the bone. So well, we have a boiling pot of water. I see that. It's been seasoned with salt, and there's some linguine in the pantry if you would grab yes. that. And I'm going to show you this beautiful short rib ragu that we've done. Should I put all of this in here? Yeah, you should. So we have been slow cooking these short ribs for about three hours. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my toes? Yeah, your toes look great. Yeah. This is what we made. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. And look, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. We're just re removing the bones. Look at that. And when it's that tender, it just falls off oh the bone. My gosh. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So beautiful. Right? I'm gonna just shred this with two forks just to kind of pull it apart. But it's really coming apart wow. like no problem. That's ready to go if you just wanna take yeah, the, pasta the pasta up. I think it's ready. Perfecto. And I got a facial. <laughs> so it sees like two spa treatments in one day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just throw it in the bowl. Thank you. That is fantastic. That one's gonna be so good. This is a great thing to make for the big group of people. Yeah. Okay, and the last thing that I have to do is put a little bit of Parmesan and some parsley on top. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. And then here you go. Thank Finish you. Finish that up. And <laughs> that'll be a Say little cheese. midnight snack for me. <laughs> I carried an entire, like, four-pound brick of Parmesan cheese all over Italy one time. <laughs> I did. Just it happened. On? I did, yes, I did. <laughs> and if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Are you guys ready to eat? Yes. Yes, okay. we have the perfect timing. Right? All right, well, we want to grab those Portobello yes. mushrooms. You're not going to believe how great this table. is. And there's wine in there, so follow me. Well, that's okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's all you have to say to get us going. May I serve you some short rib Yes. Food? We started off with a cocktail and a pedicure. Is what you do. Creating some love. It's so good. All those flavors. And just, the meat is so tender. Yeah, so tender. 